This is where I'll start off today. I'm going to be fitting the plastic arches in the rear, also the mud flaps. I'm going to put the mud flaps on the rear and then I'm going to see if I can fit the front as well. I'm going to use some seeker flex. I've got clear seeker flex that I'm going to use to fit the um, arches. And then also if I have enough time, I'm going to try and spray the brake calipers. I've got these Glue Devil um, High Heat Silver and I'm trying to spray the brake calipers with this. These are pretty straightforward to fit. You can see there's um, a couple of clips over here. So these two clips fit into these holes here. And then there's another one hole where this fits in. But I still need to get this clip and that's why I got some seeker flex. I'm just gonna run some seeker flex on here to secure it a bit more and then once I get this clip I will just clip that in and that should secure it properly and then to fit the mud flaps I first need to remove the wheel so I can get in nicely with a drill because I'm going to drill some holes in the bumper and then just screw it in with some um, speed nuts but before I do that I just want to give the car a nice little clean add it up Ladies and gentlemen, that's the first official wash since it's been sprayed. Obviously the car still needs to be polished, so there's a little bit of orange peel. If you can see over here, there's a little bit of orange peel. And obviously the bonnet still needs to be repaired. It's not looking too bad if I'm allowed to say so myself. But um, now I've got to jack the car up, get the wheels off so I can fit the mud flaps. And that's the first side done. I got it nice and or as flush as I could. What I did was I first lined up the mud flap on the bumper where I wanted it. And then I made some marks on the mud flap. After that I drilled holes into the mud flap. And then with that holes I marked on the masking tape where exactly I must drill some holes in the bumper. The reason I use masking tape is just as a precaution for the drill but um, so that it doesn't scratch the paint. I was gonna use speed clips, but I didn't have any, and um, these self tappers worked quite fine. Um, all that I did though was I used a smaller drill bit so that the self tappers could obviously make its own thread through into the bumper. And it's quite stable as you can see. So that's the first side done. Um, I'm gonna put the wheel back on and then finish up all the other three mud flaps. So I ended up only using two um, screws on the front reason being this should have been a hole over here while there is a hole on the mud flap if you can see as you can see here there is a hole on the mud flap but I didn't want to drill into the body and then obviously find out later that it's leaking into the car so I just went with two over here and you can see it's quite sturdy it's not going anywhere as well so if you're trying to do this yourself just remember that the back you're screwing into the bumper which is plastic and the front is screwed into the fender which is metal so you gotta be a bit more accurate with your lining up of the holes because you still have some leeway screwing into plastic but in the metal it's a bit of a different story so that's just another tip when you're doing the front the only issue I have is I'm not too happy with how this fits it's very proud it like stands out and I'm not sure if the old spec and the new spec's fenders is different or if it's just that this um, aftermarket mud flap so yeah that's the only thing I'm not too happy with and obviously 
if you're doing this rather go for black hardware and not silver because it also stands out that's the only issue that i have with the front the way that it fits but i mean it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is let me know down below if there is a different mud flap or if it's all the same and it just fits like that it just doesn't look like look right to me my dad went out and got me some of these clips at a hardware store and what i'm gonna use it for is at the back of these you can see flips perfectly into these two over here so that's just gonna secure it more as well and then i'm just gonna put a little bit of sicker flex around in this area and yeah but not too much just in case i need to take it off again i also managed to get hold of these clips which will clip in at the bottom and the only place that I managed to find these little clips was at um, Barron's in Claremont I found quite a few places and I couldn't find it anywhere but I managed to find it at Barron's Claremont and it was like 25 bucks for two finished up the first side but I didn't get enough sicker flex on this, this section over here so it's still a bit loose I'm not sure you can see over there it's still slightly loose so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this sticky putty um, it's like an adhesive I'm not sure exactly what it's called but I'm gonna use this I'm gonna roll a thin piece and just slide it in behind here and then before I fit the other side I'm just gonna put a piece on the top section as well and I'm still gonna use sicker flex but I'm just gonna put a thin piece of this on the top edge where this one is a bit loose this one came out much better there's not a lot of movement or gap in here because of that black sticky stuff that I use so I'm gonna use or leave this tape on here just to hold it secure while the uh, sicker flex dries and once it's dried I can remove that and it should be nice and set on there. I still need to put of that black stuff on here. So I'll do that once the side is dry. Morning guys, so yesterday it ended up raining and I didn't get to um, spray the ray calipers. So today I'm gonna pick up from there. I'm gonna spray the calipers. I still need to put a bit of that sticky tape on the right hand side um, of that plastic arch. So I'm gonna do that today, spray the fender spray the brake calipers and then also I got a little surprise thought about last night so this is all nice and secure as you can see here I can actually just take the tape off now as well so you can see it's all nice and secure and in this side I'm just gonna try and open here and then slide a bit of that black sticky stuff in here just to get this a bit more secure the surprise that I mentioned is seeing that I'm gonna be taking the wheels off to spray the um, calipers I'm actually just gonna test fit this wheels onto the city golf and the reason for that is um, once the city golf is ready for the road and then I'm probably just gonna cover up the cabriolet and let that stand for the rest of winter and then start using the city golf as a daily if the cabriolet is parked um, then I might as well just swap the rims until I can find a nice set of wheels for the city golf and then I'll probably also just give you a quick photoshop of this wheels with some coilovers or how it would look with coilovers on and talking about coilovers I'm still in the market for that I'm not too sure what to get yet um, I've been looking at the charm the blue line the ARK or ARK I'm not sure if it's called ARK or ARK and then the FK so I'm looking in that price range for some coilovers if you guys know or recommend any of those three brands let me know in the comments below um, ARK blue line or FK. So I've got both wheels off, um, I just have to now remove the brake calipers. The ease two ways you can do it, you can do it in place on the car and obviously just gonna cover up um, this area with either plastic or newspaper. That is the easier way but I'm gonna do it the harder way or I wouldn't say harder way, it's just more time consuming to take the brake caliper off completely um, just so that I can do a better job. So I'm gonna take that off, just remember if you do do it this way you're gonna have to take off the brake line as well and then make sure you have a catch or something at the bottom because the brake fluid will run out and you don't want to mess all over the area luckily the brake fluid service wasn't done recently so I get a brake fluid change in the whole process 
it is recommended that you do a brake fluid service, a brake fluid change every two or so years. So just bear that in mind if you haven't done one to your car in the past two years or so. To remove the caliper you're going to need a 6 Allen key, a 15 socket and a 14 spanner. The spanner will loosen the brake line over here. The Allen key will loosen this part of the brake caliper and then to get this piece off you will use the 15 socket which will take these two bolts off at the back over here. I'd recommend loosening the brake line first because once the caliper is loose it's a bit of a mission to loosen this and this just gives it extra like stability to loosen the brake line. So that's another tip, loosen the brake line first before the caliper. And there we go, it took about five, five or so minutes just to get everything off. Like I said, brake fluid is going to run out of the brake lines. So just to have something at the bottom there so you don't mess around the area that you're working in. And there's the caliper. So it's all nice and stripped. I just got to give it a clean before I spray. And then obviously cover the boots up. And these little rubbers everywhere. And then obviously this hole as well. Cover that up. So no spray gets in there. And then there's a, this is where you bleed the bleeding valve. I'd also cover that up with some tape. So what I meant by loosening the brake line first, well, before you remove the caliper, you don't have to take it out entirely, you just need to get it loose because it's much easier, it gives you more leverage while the brake caliper is still intact. So you can just loosen it and then take off the caliper and then take out the brake line. Yeah, flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB who we running with. Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. State your name, big bin dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big I got it all cleaned up. I used a wire brush and some brake cleaner. And then I've got some tape covering all the areas I don't want spray to go over. And then also the holes where the um, bolts go in, cover that with newspaper so no spray gets in there. So it's all clean, ready for spray. I'm going to use the solver to give it a couple of coats. Once that's dry, I'll use a clear coat as well. So the first coat is done. Once that's dry, I'm going to give it another coat of color. And then I'm going to give it a coat of clear. So you mainly want to get this area covered because that's the face and that's what you see. You don't really see what's at the back. But obviously you want to get as much covered as possible, but this, remember, this is what you see. And then also this part here is what you see mostly. So I left it in the sun for about an hour after I put the second coat on. You can see it came out quite nice. So now I'm just going to give it a clear coat, and once that's dry, I can fit it. Yeah, flex, I just want to win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Big bin dope on flame, I just switched the lanes Damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain Stripping and dipping in okay, base Okay so I just finished up assembling everything I didn't fall much because it's getting quite dark quite earlier in Cape Town So I was fighting light So I just wanted to get everything finished before um, it got dark So I didn't fall much but everything's been fitted I've also bled the brakes so don't forget to bleed the brakes If you do do a, um, a brake fluid change um, that's just to get all the air out of the piping and out the reservoir as well. So the brakes has been fitted, I've bled the brakes and I've also put the wheels on of the cabriolet. Uh, I'm not feeling it too much but I'll give you guys a look and you can be the judge. I'm not really feeling it, maybe it's just not appealing because of how high it is. So I'm just going to take a couple of pictures and then I'm going to photoshop it to see how it will look if it's lowered. And there we go, that's how it looks if it was to be dropped. What do you guys think? So it looks okay, maybe we throw a sunroof in there. I still need to put the spoiler on. And obviously once it's dropped, it will look okay with the rim. But it's not the look that I'm going for. So I'm still going to be searching for something. Like I said in the previous, one of the previous videos, finding a wheel for this thing is going to be extremely hard because I want an OEM wheel preferably. And I don't want a velocity wheel. So yeah, that's all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you learned something. Um, until next week, peace. Yeah.